Hey yo, before we get into this video, I know you wanna get to the sneaks. We about to get to the sneaks. Give me one second, but hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video and you can follow me on my socials, those will be linked down below in the description. Just wanted to let y'all know. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Boom. Pretty much here's how we doing this video. I'm gonna hit the non-heat first. So the shoes that are not that heat, those are going first, and then we're going to get into the heat after. That's how we got to do it. So you got to stay to the end of the video if you want to hear the story behind each shoe. You feel me? All right, cool. Hit that like button if you didn't do it already. Let's go. All right, man. So we're going to get into the first pair of shoes. I'm going to pick these up right here. The Saucony Grid 9000s. Um, this was a pair of shoes that I just really, really liked uh, when I first got them. I think they were like 85 at the time when I bought them. Um, but I just really like it because there's like a 90s vibe to these shoes. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but... These look like some shoes you were wearing in the 90s, man. And I just really like 90s style. And that was really why, you know, I went um, and, and caught these. Second pair of shoes, Air Force Ones. Now, the Air Force Ones, my mom got me these when I was in like ninth grade, I wanna say freshman year. So I didn't even pay for them. Shout out to mom, you know, for, for copying these for me. Um, but as you can see, these have been very, very used. They're, they're very, uh, very beat up, you know, um, and I, I personally, I know a lot of people like the Air Force Ones and, you know, it's like a classic uh, sort of like shoe or silhouette, but I really never liked the Air Force Ones like that. Like the high tops, I like the high tops way better than the low tops. Um, and I don't even really wear these anymore. Then moving on to a shoe that's very similar to those. Um, I don't even know what these are called, um, but these are very much, they look very much like the Air Force Ones. So my high school, my high school colors were actually burgundy. You know, so I used to wear these whenever we had like a pep rally, uh, whenever we had, you know, just like school events and stuff like that to show school spirit. And it was kind of cool because it was like my town colors, my high school's colors. Um, and this was probably, I would say this was my favorite shoe throughout high school, man. I wore this shoe with literally everything, like every fit, every fit you could think of, I had on the high top Nikes. Up next, we got the Air Griffey. Uh, 360 so this was actually funny story about this this was actually the first or these were the first shoes that i purchased um you know in high school like with my own bread and i really like shoes that have a lot of color you know i like things that pop i don't really like to wear shoes that are too dull for the most part um and these really just stood out like, these will stand out anywhere you got the neon green kind of going on all the way around here and it has this really dope plastic metallic looking design on the side and i was like bro i gotta get these so i think when i bought these they were like 75. so onto some more heat uh these right here roshis all red triple red roshi i actually did a video on these a while back when i first got them it had like i want to say 15,000 views or something like that but pretty much i reviewed these shoes um and it went crazy and i really really like this uh this color i love red shoes man i love red's my favorite color my like my phone case is red these are red i have another pair of red shoes i'm about to show y'all but pretty much um you know the roshis very comfortable shoe this is a shoe i wore all the time with everything and i actually found out about this shoe from if y'all watch ddg pontiac made ddg if you go back to his old videos um he used to have a pair of these all the time and he used to rock them. i was like yo what shoes are those now moving on to my most recent pickup another pair of red shoes you got the hirachis um i always wanted a pair of hirachis and i just kind of held off on getting them just because i don't wear since i since i work on a day-to-day -day basis i'm not wearing like all my shoes for the most part you know what i'm saying they're just kind of sitting in my closet but i did go to the mall um, a couple months back and i caught these so the all red you know hirachis this is, is just a super dope silhouette, man. And these are probably the most comfortable shoes that I own right now. Like if y'all have Hirachis, you know what I'm talking about. It feels like your foot is sitting on the cloud. Then moving on to something a little bit more basic. Um, these are Air Maxes. So I don't know what the exact type of Air Max this is, um, but these are just like all black Air Maxes that I got. Um, I think these are 70, 75 bucks all together. But now we're gonna get into some more of my heat, all right? so. This is the elephant print foam pots. You know, the bottoms have definitely lost some color. When I first got them, they're very hot pink. You know, they really, really popped. Um, but I just overall really, really like the foam posit silhouette. I love the foam posit silhouette. Probably my favorite silhouette for any shoe. Um, and I just really love these because they were a lot different. I had never seen anybody with the elephant prints. Um, and a lot of people probably thought they were ugly. I thought they looked cool. You know, I bought them uh, for 150. And I think at the time when I bought these, I was probably like 19. And that was probably the most I had ever spent on a shoe. So my mind was blown. Like I walked out the store and I was like, dog, bro, like I really spent 150 on these shoes. And another shoe with a great story behind it. Um, these are the Jordan Flight Club 91s. 
Um, so these are Jordans. You know, this is my only, one and only pair of Jordans. You know, I had a pair of Jordans when I was really young, like seventh grade. Um, but this is the only pair of Jordans that I bought myself. I really like these because they kind of emulate the Jordan 6. Um, they're very, they look very similar. You know, it's not the Jordan 6, but they look very similar to the Jordan 6. Uh, and a really cool story about these is, I don't know if y'all listen to Logic, but Logic has a song that says, uh, I bought my first pair of Jordans at 22. So I bought these uh, when I got my first job coming out of college. Like I got my first job, I remember I got my job offer and I had, I don't even think I started yet, but it was like a celebratory thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm about to go to the store and buy some Jordans. And if y'all been rocking with me for a while, um, you know, I was very involved in sports in high school. Um, and even college just for fun. I used to like run and stuff like that So I do have some shoes that are like specifically for athletics and I'm gonna hit y'all with these first So another story behind these uh, These are my track spikes. I actually lost the spikes, so I don't even have many more um, But you know this this is uh, these are actually called the zoom rivals um, And if any of y'all run track, these are just a super dope pair. Like I said, I love that color I love that pops and neon green laces. Um, they actually have like this cool little like, Velcro buckle right here too. Um, and I ran, I wanna say I ran maybe three races with these in high school. Then I'll move on with some more running shoes. Uh, these are the Lunar Repix. My boy actually gave me these, all right? So uh, what he tried to do is he tried to wash them in the in the washing machine and then dry them. Um, and he shrunk them a little bit, you know, so they, they can still fit my feet. They're a little tight, um, but I use these, you know, when I go on my runs, these, this is my, you know, everyday running shoe. I wanna go for a run. You know, I'm using a Lunar Repix. So I got these for free, man. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even have to pay anything for that. And last but not least, we had the Yeezy uh, foams. So this is a pair that um, another one of my boys actually gave to me. He was just getting rid of shoes one day. He was like, bro, you know, if you want these, let me know. I was like, bro, I'll take them. So they're not even my size. I wear a size eight and a half. You know, these are a size nine and a half, I want to say. So it's a whole size up. Um, so they fit but they don't fit like snug and i like my shoes to fit snug and that's the end of the video if you like that video hit that thumbs up button man make sure you subscribe join the family you know we got some more bangers dropping very soon so you don't want to miss it you don't want to miss it so you want to make sure you subscribe anyways follow me on my socials like i said down below i'm always on twitter uh well i'm not always on twitter but i have my dm notifications on on twitter so if you tweet me or if you send me a dm on twitter more than likely i'll see it you know and it'll be lit all right so follow me on there and i will catch y'all in the next video we lit